G'day, today I wanted to run through opening your Rode Wireless Pro for the first time, what you need to do to get it ready to be used out in the field. Let's get into it. So first things first, we need to um, open our box. Okay, inside you've got your charging case and your accessories case. Uh, and you've also got uh, the USB charging cable. Uh, that's pretty much everything that you need. Um, inside your charging case, you've got your two um, TX units, transmitter units, and you've got your RX unit. You can either take them out and um, take the stickers off. They're just the protective coating on the cover. You'll see it turns on. Um, so pop them back in the box. So grab your USB cable and then um, plug that into your computer. If you don't have a computer that's got USB-C to USB-C, uh, just grab an adapter or get a uh, USB-A to USB-C cable. Um, in your computer, if you don't have the Rode app, um, navigate your way to the Rode website. Um, Road Central is the app you're going to want. Um, download it for your particular browser. Um, once it's downloaded, open up the file. Uh, do all the agreeing and install preferences you need to do. Uh, you'll need to tick yes to allowing it to access files and different folders. Um, so once you've downloaded it, go into Road Central. Now that uh, from the website will obviously download the latest version. Um, so if you're yeah, buying the Rode Wireless Pro in the future, um, it'll have the most current up-to-date firmware. So you'll see when you first plug it in, the units aren't up-to-date with the firmware. Uh, so just press the red arrow uh, and then it'll bring you up a box um, to update all. Um, so that includes the charging case and the 2TX and 1RX. Um, you just chip check this box so I have my wireless devices ready. It'll take some little bit of time to update the firmware. It's not very long. Um, so run that through. And then once you've done that, uh, we'll go through the settings you need to uh, potentially change within the Rode Central app. Okay, so once it's done, the box will have uh, all the green ticks that the device needs to show that it's updated its firmware. You can uh, tick closed. So now within the app, you've got the RX unit and the two TX units. In the RX unit, there's a few different settings you can choose. I personally prefer to run with the split option because that way I can use mics one and two, and then I plug them into a left and right into my cameras. Um, so the camera records a left and a right feed on tracks one and two. Um, that's what I prefer to do. Um, completely up to you. So you've got um, a few different settings within there. With the game mode, you can um, set it to be preset and select your mirrorless camera, or you can uh, use it in manual mode. Um, you've also got your time code settings. I generally always shoot it at 25 frames, set it to real time and time code on. So that means when I then go into the split mode, I get these five time code modes. So, um, you can utilize those and they deliver the time code to your camera in a couple of different ways. So my preference is to use time code five because both my cameras have ports to receive time code. Um, so I'll just put that back at split, click apply. On the TX units, um, you can come on in um, and press the little cog wheel. Generally the, the easiest option is just to leave the gain assist on um, I always change the record mode to record always. I find that that's just um, the, the easiest and uh, almost safest thing for me. Um, 
given that it's got 44 hours of recording. So generally it gives me plenty of time to pull a backup out of the device if I need it. One thing to note though, if you do update your firmware in the future, in general, firmware updates turn that setting off. So make sure you come back in and do change that to always record upon updating firmware. And also if you are going to do a firmware update, you need to have saved your files prior because it will uh, re factory reset your device in general. Uh, so that's number one. I'll change number two as well. Always, everything else is much the same. So once you've kind of selected those settings in the app, you can then unplug. So once you do bring out the RX unit, you will see that they will connect to each other and that mic is showing up on the level on the RX unit. And then once you pull out your second one, it'll connect and then you get the uh, signal coming from both. So that's how you see it. Um, there's a few different modes within the RX unit um, display wise, um, but this is the most basic um, operation settings that you need. So once you've got those out and ready, um, you've got your accessories pouch. So you've got a cable in here, which is a USB-C to USB-C, if you have an Android kind of device or the new um, iPhones and things that are now have USB-C instead of Lightning. You also have the um, kind of Apple Lightning to USB-C. Um, so that means you can plug the device into a Apple um, device and use the um, mobile version of the Rode Central app to change the settings on the fly. So you've got your magnetic clips, uh, you've got a um, microfiber cloth, um, you've got your mic lapel clips and um, pop filter and a few color markers uh, and then you have your two lav microphones um, with the the locking i found the best way is to cut them um, but obviously you don't want to cut the cable so just grab a stand little stanley knife and just make sure you're going away from the cables uh, and then let, they all just come off come on in just be very careful not to cut your cables cool so that's your two lav mics and then you've got your um, wind kind of fluffy dead cat vibe um, so you got two for the mics the lapel mics and then you've got three for the onboard mics so two and then one spare so to put those on just simply pop that into there and that's that's in and you can take it off nice and easily the one with the round middle that's for your onboard mic so you just need to simply line up the two there's two white dots there just line them up um, side on the horizontal and then twist and then it'll look into place so then you've got a uh, wind kind of assistant there and then just to turn um, to take it off you just kind of push down ever so slightly and twist so there you have it it's nice and simple to get yourself started with the Rode wireless pro uh, if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell